do you dream of having a manicure that looks like this, but yours end up looking like this? In this video, I will show you how I paint my nails. I often get compliments and get asked where I get my nails done and if they are gel. And honestly, I did them myself with just regular polish. So here are my tips and tricks. First things first, I always prep and clean my nails with a remover. I love this Zoya Plush remover because it doesn't dry out my nails at all like regular acetone. And then I'm also using an old cleanup brush from Winstonia to clean my nail beds. I don't like to use cotton balls right before I paint my nails just to make sure that I don't get any cotton fuzzies in my manicure. I do use cotton balls to remove my nail polish, but this just makes sure that there are no fuzzies, those cotton fuzzies that are really annoying in my manicure. Next, I apply a very thin layer of base coat to all of my nails, and that's honestly a very key concept when painting your nails, is using thin layers. And then I'm going to wait for everything to dry before moving on. When painting my nails, I have personally found that using a wider brush really helps me with precision and is much easier to use. So luckily for me, my very favorite brand ever, Zoya, has just come out with a wide brush to transform their regular polish brushes into wider brushes and it's so much easier to use and I absolutely love it. If you want to paint your nails perfectly, it's also really important that you make sure you get the right amount of polish on your brush. When I pull out the brush, I wipe one side on the edge of the bottle and then I lightly dab the excess on the other side, just on the top of the bottle. Painting my nails is a really nice stress reliever for me. I find it really relaxing. So I do go nice and slow and I think that really helps with making sure your nails are painted perfectly. And also I use this method of dabbing a little bit of the polish on my nail and then pushing the brush down towards my cuticle. And then doing three strokes, I will do one down the middle and then one on each side. And then I will do a fourth stroke if needed to even things out, which I typically do need to do that fourth stroke just to make sure everything's even. And then I will make sure I wrap the tip of my nail just so everything is nice and covered and that really helps prevent chipping. I took this video on my phone, but I thought it was helpful to see how I dab the polish and then push it down towards my cuticle and then do each stroke. I know it's a little blurry because my phone was having a little trouble focusing, but I still thought it was a cool angle. Another thing I already mentioned but I really find important is making sure you use thin layers and making sure everything is dry before you apply another coat. This is going to prevent your nails from getting super smudgy and really just gross and they will take forever to dry and won't last. And then another thing is making sure that your hand that is doing the painting is stabilized on a flat surface and then also rotating your nails ever so slightly just to make sure that every little bit gets covered. So my personal favorite step in doing my own nails and honestly one of the most important steps is making sure that you use a cleanup brush and some acetone to clean up your cuticles. It honestly makes a huge, huge difference. I know when I paint my nails, I've done it a ton so I don't have a ton of mistakes on my nails, but if you do have some cuticle flooding or get a little bit of polish on your skin, it's really, really going to help transform your manicure from looking sloppy into professional and for me it is my one of my favorite steps in a manicure because I love seeing the transformation. Last but not least is adding a layer of top coat and I do apply top coat the same way I paint my nails so doing the one two three method with doing the one strip down the center of my nail and then one on each side a fourth if needed to even things out and then of course wrapping the tip of my nail to prevent chipping and top coat adds a gorgeous shine my very favorite top coat is se gel setter it's amazing it makes your nails look like gel and it lasts forever so definitely would recommend that top coat but top coat is a really really important step in making your manicures look perfect and professional And that is it for my really quick 
video on how to paint your nails perfectly. If you guys have any other tips and tricks that you use to paint your nails perfectly, let me know down in the comments below. We can all read and learn from them. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And let me know in the comments below what kinds of videos you would like to see and let me know if these tips and tricks will help you out in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!